is interesting. We've got a volcano near Anchorage, Alaska right now that could be ready to go. Researchers say hundreds of small earthquakes have happened over the last 10 months. Alaska, a realm of shadow and ice where the midnight sun glints across ancient glacial valleys and mountains slice the sky with their jagged breath. Beneath its wild, unyielding facade, something is stirring, quiet at first, but persistent as a heartbeat. For decades, scientists looked upon the Denali Fault, a 620-mile scar running through the backbone of Alaska as a scribe for earthquakes, not volcanoes. Its power was seen as one of grinding tectonic fury, a wound left open by the collisions and movements of the planet's restless skin. Mountains rose and shuddered, valleys widened and shifted, but beneath that choreography, the narrative was, for most, settled and silent. But then, in early 2025, that story changed. While monitoring subtle seismic whispers, tiny pulses no human could feel, scientists uncovered something extraordinary beneath Alaska's frozen wilderness. A signal emerged, subtle and ghostly, a zone where seismic waves slowed to a crawl, as if passing through something heavy and hot. Probing deeper, researchers found clear evidence beneath the muskeg and permafrost, a significant low-velocity zone, possibly a reservoir of magma lurking seven miles, or nearly 12 kilometers, under the Denali Fault. This seismic discovery rattled not only the instruments, but also the very foundations of Alaska's established geological narrative. Dormant volcanoes, surrounded by ages of silence, may be underlain by large pools of molten rock. Suddenly, the Denali Fault, a symbol of tectonic violence, was implicated in a new and mysterious story, one that includes magma deep within the Earth's crust. But what does it mean when magma is detected where none was expected? What questions echo in the halls of Alaska's stone giants when a reservoir of molten rock is found beating beneath the land? Let's descend beneath the ice, beneath the peaks, and listen to the story written in stone and heat, a story that could reshape not only Alaska, but our understanding of the Earth's most cryptic forces, the enigma of the Denali Fault. To understand the magnitude of this discovery, we must first consider the Denali Fault itself, a sprawling, continent-spanning feature, visible only in hints and scars, a living testament to the planet's most violent moods. Like California's San Andreas Fault, the Denali is a strike-slip fault, meaning its sides grind past each other with immense and latent energy. It's a landscape of profound tension. From east to west, over 620 miles of crust, roughly the distance from San Francisco to Salt Lake City, are torn in opposing directions. Alaska's interior, with its forests, rivers, and snow-draped tundra, sits atop this geological rope. For years, every major earthquake here has been traced, in red ink, across the Denali's trembling course. But for all its drama, Denali's force is supposed to be plate tectonics. Mountains rise when continents clash. Earthquakes ripple when blocks slip. Alaska's majesty, in this telling, is built upon collision. Slow, grinding, cold. The concept that reservoirs of magma could brew beneath the fault was, until now, considered highly unlikely, a disruption of an old and settled narrative. Yet in January 2025, seismic data revealed what geologists call a low-velocity zone underneath the northern flank of the Alaska Range. Here, buried below muskeg and ice, seismic waves traveled at significantly reduced speeds, an indicator that the rocks below were neither completely hard nor cold, but altered by heat and possibly containing partial melt. This anomalous passage stretches as deep as 12 kilometers beneath mountains shaped by the relentless push and grind of tectonic plates. Researchers, cautious yet intrigued, revisited their data. The readings held. Beneath a land shaped by earthquakes, a hidden dynamic was at work, written not just in stone, but in fire. Why is there evidence suggestive of magma beneath a fault long believed to be purely tectonic? What ancient processes have conspired 
in the heart of Alaska to blend earthquake and eruption in a single deep context? Is the Denali Fault strictly a boundary, or could it act as a bridge, channeling heat upward, hinting at chapters of Earth's history still to be discovered? Seismic Whispers, How the Secret Was Found If the Denali Fault's outward appearance is thunder and grandeur, its true voice is much quieter. Scientists search for its secrets, not with a stethoscope, but an intricate web of seismic stations, delicate ears pressed to the crust's hidden song. January 2025 began like any other month in the Alaska Range. The seismic stations monitored the faint rumbles and tremors of the Earth's motions, the groaning of plates, the snapping of shallow faults, the distant shifts of ancient mountains. But something unusual disrupted the silence. A team, examining the minutia of seismic noise, noticed that tremors propagating through a stretch of the Denali Fault were behaving unusually. Waves slowed substantially beneath a patch of the range. Such slowdowns are not random. They are signatures, cryptic but meaningful. Such zones can reflect the presence of elevated temperatures and possibly partial melt, features associated in some contexts with magma, the likelihood of significant molten material rather than merely heated solid rock has driven ongoing research and debate, but the indications are stronger than ever before. The team's findings have been bolstered by new techniques, including studies of gases trapped in soils, tiny bubbles of hydrogen, carbon dioxide, and other gases. The isotopic mixtures of these gases sometimes hint at a deep magmatic origin although confirmation of such a connection requires further analysis. Magma, unseen, the hidden reservoir revealed. For decades, geologists studied Alaska's dormant volcanoes, their cones softened and worn by time, their craters filled with snow and silence, and believed them to be monuments to ancient violence now ended. But advances in imaging, especially seismic tomography, and the analysis of seismic background noise have changed that perspective. Researchers have realized that many dormant volcanoes in the Pacific Northwest, particularly across the Cascades, are underpinned by significant magma reservoirs despite long periods of inactivity. Now, evidence suggests the region near the Denali Fault might similarly conceal an active reservoir. Using dense arrays of seismic instruments, Researchers mapped the boundaries of the anomaly. This is no local hotspot or shallow artifact. The zone of lowered seismic velocity stretches for miles, mirroring the trend of the Denali Fault and reaching at least 12 kilometers deep. Its lateral and vertical extent remain the subject of ongoing study, but its size ranks among the larger zones of partial melt detected beneath North America, outside of well known hotspots like Yellowstone. Within this chamber, temperatures likely approach the melting point of rock, inducing partial melt rather than a large body of completely liquid magma. The precise proportion of melt remains uncertain, and whether it might one day feed surface eruptions is not yet known. Microscopic gas bubbles found in soil and sediment reveal chemical signatures that, in some cases, hint at deep origins but such evidence is still being gathered and interpreted. Fault Lines and Fire, the Geological Conundrum What is the Denali Fault? Strictly a boundary or something more? For generations, it was described as a strike-slip fault, its two sides sliding past one another in slow but powerful movement. However, the presence of deep heat or magma beneath it complicates this story. Traditionally, mountain building and earthquakes were attributed to the relentless motion of cold, rigid plates. Volcanoes were thought to arise mainly from subduction zones, where the Earth's crust melts and rises sporadically. In Alaska, these rules have worked well, explaining most of the region's drama. Yet the reservoir beneath Denali suggests both tectonic force and magmatic heat are at play. The fault may not only serve as a rupture, but possibly as a pathway, a deep wound through which heat and partially molten rock ascend toward the upper crust. The idea that major strike-slip faults could interact with deep magmatic systems is not entirely new. 
but few expected to see such evidence beneath the heart of interior Alaska. This mingling of tectonics and magmatism is rare in regions dominated by earthquake risk rather than volcanic hazard. The implications are profound. On new maps and models, the Denali Fault is no longer just a line of brittle fracture, but a corridor influenced by the deeper forces of the planet. The Shadows of Dormant Giants Beneath Alaska's expansive sky, the landscape tells stories of eruptions and upheaval millions of years old. Volcanoes once erupted here, creating peaks now softened by time and weather. After centuries without activity, they faded from urgent attention, labeled dormant, their dangers distant and abstract. Yet, as researchers in the Pacific Northwest have shown, large magma bodies can linger under dormant volcanoes, waiting in silence beneath the surface. The volcanoes of the Cascades, Mount Rainier, Mount Hood, Mount St. Helens, are all now known to stand atop substantial magma reservoirs, even after millennia of quiet. The land above appears unchanged. Forests grow, rivers trace their courses, and wildlife migrates as it always has. Yet beneath, pressures rise, gases accumulate, and rock is transformed at the pace of geologic ages. The effects of these deep cycles, the periodic eruptions, the layers of ash, and altered minerals are preserved in stone, visible only to those who know how to read the rocks. Alaska's ancient volcanoes are not mere relics of a bygone era, but reminders that geologic processes endure well beyond human memory. With each rising bubble and seismic tremor, are they quietly preparing for the next chapter? Is dormancy simply a mask for the slow churn of inner heat? Gazing into the depths, the science of secrets. The pursuit of understanding. Denali's hidden magma reservoir relies on technologies that allow scientists to observe the unseen. Seismic tomography, in particular, uses the echoes of earthquakes and persistent background vibrations to reconstruct the complex landscape beneath our feet. The low velocity zone mapped below the Denali Fault is now interpreted as one of the most significant signs of deep heat in Alaska's interior. Gravitational measurements also play a role, mapping small changes in local gravity that can reflect less dense areas beneath the surface, possibly correlating with zones of partial melt or magma. Together, these approaches have built a compelling, but still evolving, picture of a deep reservoir beneath the Denali Fault. The research is ongoing, each data set leads to more questions. How old is the reservoir? How much of it is liquid versus partially melted rock? What conditions might allow it to ascend or escape its deep confinement? And importantly, if a reservoir of this scale could remain hidden until now, might there be others yet undiscovered beneath long studied parts of the planet? Risk or revelation? What does this mean for Alaska? With discovery comes uncertainty. To the naked eye, Alaska remains unchanged, vast and indifferent to human timescales. Yet the presence of a significant magma reservoir adds a new layer of consideration to regional risks. The critical question is whether this deep anomaly signifies impending eruption. Based on current understanding, the presence of partial melt in the crust does not guarantee volcanic activity at the surface in the near future. It is one necessary ingredient, but not the only one. Other factors, such as pressure buildup, fracture availability, and specific chemical and physical conditions must align. Alaska is familiar with volcanic events, especially in its southern regions. Here, in the north, substantial evidence for imminent eruption is currently lacking, but the discovery of magma at such depth alters both scientific focus and hazard assessment. For Denali and its environs, the new knowledge means that potential volcanic activity cannot be ruled out entirely, even if the probability is low in the coming human generations. The more consequential impact may be on our understanding of the fault itself. The Denali Fault's apparent hybrid character as both a site of tectonic movement and a possible pathway for magma may influence the likelihood or characteristics of future earthquakes and ground deformation.
In many volcanic regions, seismicity and eruption risk are strongly linked, with one sometimes triggering the other. Whether this connection applies here remains a subject of active study. For land use planners, policymakers, and engineers, the findings have clear implications. Maps that inform infrastructure decisions, housing, roads, pipeline, depend on accurate hazard assessment, which now must incorporate the possibility, however remote, of deep magmatic disturbances. The story reinforces the need for robust monitoring and early warning systems. The horizon of discovery, questions that haunt the present. What lies ahead? In the wake of these findings, scientists have expanded networks of seismic stations and real-time gas monitors in the Alaska Range. Satellite observations continually measure ground movement and thermal anomalies, searching for signs of possible changes beneath the surface. Plans for more detailed imaging and even for eventual drilling campaigns are being discussed among research institutions. Such projects would be logistically difficult and expensive, but could definitively characterize the reservoir's composition and behavior. Meanwhile, computational models explore a range of scenarios, from slow cooling to sudden pressurization, seeking to anticipate any potential surface effects. Within academic circles, debate continues. Some researchers see Denali as emblematic of a broader class of faults, where tectonic and magmatic processes coexist. Others caution that while magma may be present, eruption is not necessarily more likely. All agree, however, that our understanding of Alaska's deep anatomy has changed dramatically. The region is now perceived as a dynamic intersection of plate tectonics and deep-rooted volcanic forces. For local communities, the news raises questions both practical and philosophical. Is there cause for concern? Are current monitoring systems adequate? Would subsurface processes ever progress quickly enough to pose a threat within our lifetimes? For the world beyond Alaska, broader implications linger. If deep magma can lurk unnoticed beneath such a well-studied fault, what other surprises might the planet hold? The boundaries between earthquake-prone and volcanically dormant zones may be less clear than once thought. The quiet that proceeds. In the end, Alaska remains, by all outward signs, a land of blue-white silence, of shimmering birches and endless horizon. Yet beneath this quiet lies a question that stretches across geologic time. The revelation of a magma reservoir deep under the Denali Fault is a vivid reminder that Earth's story is never finished. From mountain-shaping earthquakes to the slow circulation of molten rock, great changes unfold beneath our feet, usually without notice. And so, in the span of a single research season, human instruments have uncovered a reality hidden for thousands of years. That fire, as much as ice, shapes the fate of the land. We now stand at the edge of what is known and what remains mysterious, listening to the subtle sounds and signals beneath the northern sky. The earth offers clues in its seismic pulses, gas bubbles, and the slow movement of heat, inviting us to uncover its oldest secrets, if only we persist in the search. Perhaps this is just the prologue to a new era of discovery, a time when ancient boundaries blur and the planet's inner depths are charted anew. Or perhaps it is a reminder to remain vigilant that even in the world's most remote places, the story is always evolving. There is no certainty, only the rhythm of data, the murmur below, and the persistent hush above. Stay curious, stay alert, and remember, beneath every silent peak and wind-scoured plain, the earth is writing the next chapter, one pulse, one whisper, one tremor at a time. If you want to keep hearing the secrets our planet has yet to reveal, give this a thumbs up. Subscribe for updates on the unfolding story of Earth's hidden heart and share your questions below. Here, beneath Alaska's endless sky, the story is truly only beginning.